Hey, Deepo here, and welcome, welcome to our Hangout. Welcome to um, this training session. I mean, you know, I'm always excited. I'm always um, happy when when I get the chance to just connect with other like-minded um, individuals like yourself. You know, why do I say that? Because, you know, someone said success leaves clues, right? Uh, Reminds me of, of a scripture verse that says, "Do not be deceived. Say, bad company corrupts good manners." Uh, meaning that, meaning that, if you hang out around bad people, uh, if you hang out in the company of bad people, you you, are, you end up being a bad person. I mean, if you hang up around, hang out around with successful people, um, just in a short little while, you see yourself being very, very successful. So, I don't take it lightly. I don't take it for granted that you are here hanging out with us when you could be on TV, when you could be sitting down in front of the TV with uh, with potato chips in your um, by your right hand side and just having a good time and watching TV, right? But you took the time to be here tonight to say, I want to listen to what Dico has to, to share. I want to listen to what what Lori has to share. I want to listen to what Regina has to share. I want to listen to what this this great team has to share with me that can help me to to increase in my life and in my business. So we congratulate you for that. So I just want to say welcome once again, and uh, I hope you are joining us live and listening to this live with us. And if not, why not? If you're listening to this as a recording, why is that? Why don't you join us live um, every 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 Thursday at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time? That's um, 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And, and just join us and connect with us live so that you can connect with our, with our energy. You know, you may be listening to this as a recording and feeling our energy, but what about taking it to, a, to the next level where you do that live with us? So um, I want to hope that next time after, uh, after watching this, you are going to be joining us. You're going to be committing to join us live uh, at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time or 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time every Thursday, right? At the link that you're that you're watching this, or or, or 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 even when you get started with us, you will always have that link to connect with us. Uh, I have my friend, one of my one of my uh, one of my good friends and and, and 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 colleagues in our business. Laurie here tonight. Uh, we're excited to share ideas with you. Laurie, why don't you go ahead and say hi? Hey, hello, everybody. Uh, it's great to be here. Thanks, Depot, for pulling this together again. Uh, grateful to be here. And um, I am excited to. Uh, we had a little chance to chat before we got going here. And, you know, we're, we're on opposite ends of the earth, really, as far as where we live and stuff. So it's just been really awesome to be able to chat and. I have to say, right along with Depot, thanks so much for being here. You're in the right place at the right time, and yes, we look forward to having you right on at five o'clock or seven o'clock when you're there, so that you're live with us. Uh, we're glad if you're here for the recording too. We love you and we uh, support you, and I hope this this actual what we're going to talk about tonight, the second half. I've been just kind of chomping at the bit in a way because I wanted to get that second part to you because <laughs> in that first uh, time we met, we talked about the beliefs that we needed to change, but we didn't talk about the actual uh, modality, and we can get into that tonight. So I'm excited about that, Depot. Uh, so welcome, everybody, and hello, hello. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Lori. And uh, Regina couldn't join us um uh, but but she's gonna see if she can still make it to be here with us. You know, um, we are, and you see, um, Lori talked about the love and the support, and that is all that we have for you. We have a love and support for you, right? Because we want to see you succeed, right? We are we are learning, we are gaining information that that we believe can can transform the whole industry, and that is why we can be here tonight to share that with you. So 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 we are here for you, like Lori said. We want to see you succeed. We want to help you. Want to lock arms with you. And help you to move your business for whatever business you may be you may be building, right? I mean, this is not where we say, "Oh, come join our business" or "Come do this" because we are the best. No, that's not why we are here. We are here to help support you, right? You may be building Amway, you may be building ACN, you may be building Herbalife, you may be building Organo Gold, you may be building um, New Skin, you may be building whatever network marketing company it is, right? But but you know what? All the principles are the same that can help you to move your business forward, and that is why we are here, right? To help you connect to the system. Perhaps your sponsor uh, may be in witness protection, where you can get a hold of them, right? And where you can connect with them, right? We are here to take a stand for you, to help you to lift to lift you up, and to help you to 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 connect you in the community that will support you 
in whatever in whatever niche, in whatever business you may be in, right? And that is why we're here. So um, just just going straight into it, right? Before we go straight into it, you know, just like I typically do, and and we love to do because I think it's important, right? Because you may be watching us for the first time, you may be saying, "Hey, who's this deeper guy that is talking to me?" Or, "Hey, who's who's this who's this uh, lawyer lady that that is that is just." Excited to share share ideas with me. I mean, why is she excited? And so, so we get the chance to 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 take the opportunity to, to share a little bit about ourselves. And I'm gonna and I'm gonna do that very very quickly. I'm gonna try to do that, right? You know. So when when I share my story, I typically ask this question. I say, what do you do when you find yourself alone, cold, and and thousands of miles from everything you've ever been familiar with? Because that was the situation that I found myself when. Uh, way back in, in January of 2002 when I left my home country in Nigeria to pursue a better life for myself and for my family, right, to, to create something new that I believe could move my life forward, right, because that was all I had been, uh, that, that was all that was so that, I mean, if you, if you, if you work hard in your, if you work hard at school, right, I mean, study real hard, right, I mean, get good grades, and uh, uh, you so that you can, you can go on to, you can go on to, to get a good job, right, I mean, uh, that you can that you, that you work 40 hours right for 40 years so that at the end of the day after at the end of 40 years of your life right that you've given to someone you can end up retiring on 40 percent of what was not even uh, enough in the very first place that was what I thought was wealth that was what I thought was 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 the key to success, to success right so so I mean I left my home country in Nigeria to come to the to the US and landed uh, um, I, I I landed uh, first into New York, right? And when they opened the, the the door to the plane, right? And I was and I was speaking, I could see vapor coming out of my mouth. Remember, this is in January of 2002, right? Way in the winter time, right? And this is this is this is someone who's been uh, who all of his life has always been been familiar with the with a with a warm weather, right? I'm talking about 100 plus degree weather, right? And and cool. someone moving into to uh, Someone moving into to to a to a, to, to a weather where where it's where it's cold, right? So they opened the door uh, to in in New York, right? They opened the, the door to the plane um, in New York, and when I started speaking, I could I was speaking, I could see vapor coming out of my mouth. I was like, wow, this is cool, right? But of course, the the story changed by the time I arrived at my final destination, which was in Michigan, because it wasn't cool anymore. It was extremely cold. I mean, um, going from going from the going from the from the building, right, from the airport building to the car, right, my fingers were like getting numb. I can remember it like it was yesterday, right. As a matter of fact, I was wrapped up in blanket for three solid days, Friday night, Saturday, and Sunday, right, trying to keep warm, right. All I was thinking was if there was a way to to, to, to go back to everything I was familiar with, right. And then I spoke with my mentor and he asked me a question. He's like, are there people where you're at, right? And that was a fundamental question for me because this was what happened. This, uh, when he asked that question, I looked at him and I was like, yeah, there are human misery I'm at, right. And then he's like, yeah, the human beings who have learned to adjust to the situation. He said, I'm sure you can learn to do that. Of course, I realized, oh my goodness, I was stuck here. But then I took advantage of the situation. I had to learn. I had to adjust to the weather, to the culture, to the to the environment, right? To 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 everything, right? But but after, uh, but but of course, I was able to do that, right? I couldn't I couldn't go back. I I, I was not willing to go back. I was I had to go forward because I believe something better was waiting for me, right? So I went through I went through for five years of of, of school, right? And and, and and during the time when I was started working, right, because that was what I was thought that I had to I, I needed to start 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 working right. I needed to be working at a job, right? Right. And I was actually working for a Fortune five hundred company at the time, right? But then I got this email email from my dad and, and this was what he said. He said he said, If you want to be great, he said study great people. Then I looked around to myself I think to myself, I said I don't know any great, great person around that I can study. study. And that's when he recommended uh, a book to me, which began my journey in personal development. And the book was called Rich Dad Poor Dad. And if you haven't heard of the book before, I recommend, highly recommend that you go get the book and you start reading the book. Because that book really changed my life. It transformed everything for me. I, I realized that there were there were different things, different principles that the rich people were teaching their children that the poor and the people class were not. I realized that we were operating on a different side of a, of of the plane completely, right? You know, he talked about the the, the, the quadrant, right? The, the quadrant when you draw when you draw a, a, a line from the top of your from the top of your page, go to the middle of your page, from the top of your page to the bottom, draw a line, and then draw a horizontal line, right? To to make like four 
four different uh, portions right on your on your page. The first side he called the E and the S, and the other side he called the, the B and the I. I realized I was on the wrong side of the quadrant because that's where the poor and the middle class were, right? And the rich people were operating in the B and the I side of the quadrant. And I realized, oh my goodness, something needed to change, something needed to shift, right? And that's when I realized if you wanted to be successful, if you wanted to be, uh, if you wanted to be in the rich category, you need to learn to own your business. Own your business rather than your business owning you, rather than you um, trading time for dollars, right? Because that's that that's all that's all the that's all you find in the E and the S side, right? Where if you're not if you're not if you're not there on your job, right? Uh, in that particular time slot, you're not making any money, right? So so that was but but that's not how the rich operated. The rich, whether or not they are there at their business, their business are still working for them. And that's when I realized, oh my goodness, I had needed to start owning my business. But you know what? I was missing something, right? Because when I went into real estate, I I lost I, I lost money in it, right? I went into stock trading and options trading, lost thousands of dollars. I mean, thousands of dollars in it, right? And I also went into I also also went into network marketing, and I was failing in the business. I mean, failing miserably. I mean, doing all the things that we've been told, right? I mean, dialing for dollars, right? Remember that you may be laughing at that and say, yeah, I remember that. I mean, or or or, or trying to 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 throw flyers. Uh, around or, or drop cards and all those old school type of marketing that that, that weren't working for me, right? And and, and especially for me, when I when I, or, or, or one of the one of the things we are taught is is, is 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 picking up the phone and just and just calling calling realtors, right? I mean, I would be my arms would be so sweaty. I'll be pumping myself up. I mean, just just to pick up that phone and just dial our realtors out of the call, people who were not really interested in what I was looking for, right? I mean, that was the kind of uh, thing I was doing. And you may be thinking about it and say, wow, I'm doing the same thing right now, right? But 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 I didn't realize there was so I didn't realize until later on when I connected with my mentor that showed me that there was a better way to do it, right? So I had a mentor, I got in contact with a mentor and a system that could help me, right? Where I could be able to lead the whole school type of marketing and engage in a system where whether or not I'm there, right, my business is working for me, right? Whether or not I'm there, right, my business is operating an automated way for me, right? And 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 and, and as a matter of fact, I can tell you that I've been cited on the four major networks, ABC, NBC, CBS, and Fox, and I've also made thousands of dollars uh, in my business. But I all say all this not to impress you, but just to impress the point that it's possible for you not to quit on your dreams, to refuse to settle for less than the best that you can be, and, and that better things are waiting for you in the future, right? And uh, Gloria and I, of course, will be extending an invitation for you to, to, to do what we did, right? Connecting with a mentor and connecting with a system that can help you to move your life and to move your business forward. But that was, that's just uh, my story in a nutshell, and uh, Lori, uh, why didn't you share your story with us? All right, hey. Thanks, Thanks Depot. Depot. Now, now I hear it. Echo. Are you hearing, Are you hearing it, too? it too? No, I'm not. Okay, I'll just maybe that's. What... Um, I love hearing your story. I just think it's awesome, and I and it's amazing how I love books too. I I, I am actually a bookaholic, <laughs> but um, you talked about uh, those the quadrant and uh, Robert Kiyosaki and. And uh, I can remember being introduced to uh, network marketing or multi-level marketing at a really young age. And the first book that I was handed was, um, uh, that I can remember anyway, was a book by Wayne Dyer called Your Euronious Zones. And I think that was a big eye-opener for me in that I knew that, okay, it's up to me, that I can make choices and that, uh, that I, my brain is powerful enough that I can choose whether I'm going to be happy or sad, that those are choices. And um, oh, on that note, too, this is just a thrown in thing, pretty fascinating work that's going on right now about depression. Um, scientists are, are unlocking some things and showing that the possibility is that, uh, that depression is actually an allergic reaction to inflammation in the body. So anyway, that's not that's not what we're talking about tonight. But that stuff fascinates me anyway. So um, tell you a little bit about myself. I um, I came from a, a kind of a middle class family, um, a, three three kids, three of us kids. Uh, I got into fitness. My brother was really into Arnold Schwarzenegger bodybuilding, so fitness and nutrition. I really got into that. And as I taught aerobics in water and on land and did weight training and all that. Um, I loved it. I still do. 
Uh, however, I, I knew that I was trading time for dollars. And I knew that uh, I can only take on so many clients. I even had big, you know, big rooms full of people, but uh, I wasn't getting paid for each individual person. You know, I was getting paid an hourly wage. And so I branched off to try to do personal training. And, and again, that just doesn't, you can only, you only have so many hours in a day. And, and if there was some way I could not sleep, I would do that. But um, so when I saw the idea of leveraging your time and your money, you know, leveraging your time to earn a better income, that's when I was excited about this. And so I started my own website um, and then, you know, had a great mentor to help me with that. But it still wasn't getting me where I really wanted to go. I had a dream of freedom. And I had a dream, uh, another book that really fascinated me and that I would re highly recommend is Tim Ferriss's 4-Hour Workweek, which opened up again a whole new window, kind of like Depot was saying, where you realize, oh my goodness, I'm on the wrong side of the quadrant. The 4-Hour Workweek, you all of a sudden realize that there are people out there that are working 4-Hour Workweeks that have these systems in place that are working for them when they're not there and they're out doing what they love and they're living their passion and they're helping others to do the same and I love that idea so freedom was you know one of the biggest um, motivators for me and, and you know of course another motivator is uh, the fact that I was going through a divorce and I wanted to I, I needed to hang on to my home I wanted to keep the home I was living in you know I had three boys that, that uh, you know I wanted to take care of want to have money to be able to raise them and and not be in this uh, this fear mode and this um, scarcity mode and, and just wondering where what was going to happen next. So when I saw this, a friend introduced me to this, and the first time I just was gonna I was gonna look at this to help market my website. And as I came into this company and saw the community and the value and the products, uh, I was blown away. I just have to say I was blown away. So. Um, that, so I stepped into this knowing that this was going to be this was going to be the the vehicle that was going to help me to live my dream was going to help me to help others be free and with the system that's in place I totally get it now <laughs> that there are systems that you can have like like Deepa was saying that that work for you or regardless of whether you're right there on the phone or sitting at a desk making an income that, that the system works for you. So that's a little bit about me. I'm excited to, like I said, I'm excited to be here tonight. I'm excited to go through the modalities of these beliefs because I, I was able to do some of them and have some great results. All along the way, I got to say, with Empower and, and Depot, you, I've, you've probably had this experience too. Uh, this is a company that, uh, it comes across, it's a network marketing company, but it's really a factory for producing amazing leaders. And, um, you know, we're working on your business will never outgrow your self-image, your self-confidence. And I find that more than anything, even in the beginning, I, when I wasn't creating this huge income, I was excited anyway because I was seeing major growth in myself, major changes. And, you know, my, my kids actually kind of crack up and say, oh, man, she's always saying, you know, breakthrough or I had this transformation. They're like, mom, you keep saying this transformation, but it's like, with every single change and shift, it's exciting to get rid of old, you know, shed those old beliefs that aren't helpful to you, the things that don't serve you. We want to get rid of those. And um, so I'm, I'm excited about that depot that we can share with these guys tonight and, uh, and hopefully help them make some changes too. So. Wow, thank you for that, Laurie. You know, I always enjoy, absolutely, you say you enjoy my story, but I think I enjoy your story more. <laughs> just just, uh, just, just listening and, and, and seeing the, 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 the change, the transition, I mean, the, the, the way you just moved up, uh, moved up in, your, in, in, your, in, your, in your life, and, and, and it's inspiring to me. And, and I guess maybe that's why we do that. We, we share our story in the beginning just to help, help you connect with us, that we're like real people just like yourselves, I mean, I mean, real people. I mean, that, that have gone through challenges that that, that you, you you're going through right now, and to help you understand that we've been there, we can help you to move forward. So we let, let let's go right into. It. I know we we are, we are strapped for time. I mean, and and we may not even end up. Uh, <laughs> we are definitely gonna try to wrap this up definitely because we want to make sure that we get this done. But uh, but 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 
if you really want to get a full detail um, training on this, I mean, this is part of a, a, a product that we that we, that we are invested in. I'm um, called the Top Producer Formula, where you learn, I mean, game-changing ideas, right? Game-changing ideas that can make you a top producer. A top producer, not just in this business that we're in, but in your current business. You know, I, I, told, I told you, like, I mean, you can be in Amway, you can be in... ACN, you can be in Herbal Life, you can be in New Skin, you can be in Organo Group, you can be, you can be in whatever network marketing or even business you have, online or offline. These strategies, these principles, they are timeless and they could give you game changing results. So let, let's go right into it, um, Laurie, and uh, uh, let's see how far we can go. I mean, and then uh, if you really want to learn more, you just have to, you just have to get the product. Just, just. Just be able to move forward. Just even to move forward in your life at a at a bigger level, at a at a at a higher level. So, uh, so so we talked about the last time. I mean, you can go to, to one of our one of our trainings uh, or videos. Uh, we talked about the fourteen uh, steps or the fourteen ways by which you can change your beliefs. I mean, Laurie mentioned it that if your beliefs, your values are not in alignment, right? If they are not in line in in, in perfect alignment with where you want to go then you're going to struggle. That is the bottom line. That is the truth. You know, why is it that someone can be, why is it that two people can be in the same, in the same company, right? I mean, they're given they're giving the same tasks to do, right? And both of them complete the same task, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, or, or however long it is, right? They complete the same task, right? Person A is getting zero results. And person B is getting top producer results. Why is that? They did the same thing. What is the change? I mean, what's the difference? The difference is the belief in their mindset. It's the belief in their mindset. As, as a matter of fact, I call that one of my one of the powerful secrets of highly successful leaders, right? It's the belief in their mindset. So if your beliefs are not in perfect alignment with where you want to go, they're not in perfect alignment with your values, you will struggle in your business. If you don't think you're entitled to a ten thousand dollars per month income. Truth of the matter is, you're not going to get there. We can tell you to do YouTube, we can tell you to do, uh, 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 I mean, ban advertising, we can tell you to do uh, Facebook people click. I mean, we can talk about all those different type of um, traffic getting methods, right? But then you may do all that but still not be successful. Why? Because you've not got into that mindset change, mindset level where you believe that you deserve the success and that you're going to get it. So we are talking now about how can we help you to change. So you can go watch the first video to, to learn to, to as we talked more about that. We talked about uh, the different kind of things you need to your beliefs need to be uh, accurate about in order for you to to succeed succeed in your business. So now we are talking about how can we help you to change it, right? And Laurie, we talked about these fourteen steps. We talked about this this fourteen um fourteen principles or fourteen uh, factors that that you need to. Uh, that, that you need that, that you can walk around that, that, that you can walk with in order to be able to help you to change your beliefs right the 14 steps and, and I'm going to go through them and, and then we'll just we'll just probably talk about the favorite ones that we're passionate about and, and maybe call the wraps and if you really want to go into detail about those 14 like I said get the top producer from I mean, and you can be asking hey Dico, what is what is the top producer formula right? Just go back to the person who, who who got you to the, who got this message to you, who got this video to you. Ask for their link, right, to get that to get that product, right? I mean, you it will change your life. I mean, like you can you can say, hey, Dico, stop selling to me. I, well, you know what? I have to tell you the truth, right? If you want to have a change life, you have to invest yourself, right, in something that can change your life. So going straight into the fourteen uh, fourteen steps, um, Lori. Um, one of the steps that we have is the first one is is positive positive intention, right? Having a positive intent, uh, a positive intention is really uh, the first step. Number two, redefining, redefining, uh, and I think I, I I call it uh, when I was thinking about it, I, I was thinking about framing, right? Redefining or, or framing. Framing is the word I call it. Number three is consequences, consequences, right? Uh, negative or positive consequences about your beliefs. Number four, chunking, 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 it's chunking. Number four is just chunking, right? I hope you're writing all this down. 
I hope you are here with your notes and your paper. Imagine, uh, ju just just to, to, to segue uh, into something entirely different, but but it's gonna make make point to what I what, what I'm about to share with you. Right? Imagine going to school without a pen and a paper, right? I mean, imagine going to school uh, without the books that you need to to succeed, right? I mean, how are you gonna pass the class, right? So I hope you have a pen and a, and a, a pen and a paper to write down this information that we're sharing with you, right? So what was number four? Number four was chunking. Uh, number four was chunking, and uh, number five is chunking down. Number six. Number six is metaphor. Number seven is changing frame size, right? That's that's a that's a very exciting one. Changing frame size. I actually like uh, like that. One. That's one of my favorite. Number number seven. Uh, number eight is changing the outcome. Changing the outcome. Number nine is model. Uh, the model. Number number ten is uh, reality strategy. Strategy. Reality strategy. Number eleven is counter example. Counter example. Counter example. That's number eleven. Number twelve is hierarchy of criteria. Hierarchy of criteria. And number thirteen is apply to self. Apply to self. Apply to self. And number fourteen, it's what? Meta frame. Meta frame. So 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 you're like, hey Diko, what is what are all these fourteen? What are all these fourteen? Can you go into de into depth about it? Just for the sake of time, we 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 won't be able to go into each one of them, right? But we're just gonna talk to you about uh the favorite ones, right? But if you really wanna if you really wanna go in, in depth into into all of this, right? A, a book we can recommend to you, right? It's called Slate of Mouth. Slate of Mouth by Robert Diltz, right? It's it's actually where these principles were, were found, right? Slate of Mouth. That's S L E I G H T. Slate of Mouth. Slate of Mouth. Um, it's gonna help you in terms of learning um, ways by which you can you can transform or change your belief. So so that's the book you can read. But but if you really want uh, want a, uh, an in depth study of it as well to get the top producer from, I mean, absolutely game changing. Absolutely. I mean, besides this training, I mean, a whole lot of other trainings that can take your business to the whole new level. So, Laurie, uh, let me let me get let me send it back to you. W which one do you think from all this fourteen um, are, are your favorites that you want to talk talk to uh, talk to us about or share with us uh, uh, about? Well, they're all super. Um, first of all, I do I do want to say too, just to remind everybody, we're talking about this top producer formula. We're we're only covering a slight piece of the top producer formula like module two there are several modules within the top producer formula so we're just touching on this slight little spot but this right here you know changed a lot of things in my life okay so last week I actually went through this because we talked about um, you know I've done this along the way and I wanted to do it again uh, really quickly to go over what the beliefs are that you need to change the specific ones you need to look at and then what you're gonna do is plug in those six beliefs to the 14 you know, kind of feel it out and see which one's going to work for you to plug in to make a shift in the ones that you need to change it, the ones that aren't serving you. So um, the beliefs, these are all beliefs about either you and your abilities, the company and the products that you are in, your own team, your prospects and your list, and um, oh, the work that you feel you you're going to produce your results, how you your belief on that, and then your you're just actually your just belief in money itself. So those six things is what we're going to plug into this. So I think the things that stand out to me first off was, and I think it's because I think that people will get this the most is um, the uh, reality strategy. And of course this is you know number ten, but I don't know if you need to know that number, but. Um, that there are uh, generalizations, distractions, and deletions that we all go, that we all do. Our mind does this amazing thing. We've got the subconscious. This fascinates me too. We've got the subconscious and this conscious mind, and we want to ha even have those in alignment. That that won't work unless we go through these, unless we actually align uh, align those up. So. Um, and 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 we have on the subconscious part we've got all of this information coming at us with all of our senses all the time like right now I'm, I'm looking at you and I'm talking with you but all around me there's a window next to me I can see birds flying by occasionally I've got the closets here I can hear noise in the background I mean even my feet on the floor and the carpet because my feet are barefoot you know I've got all this stuff going on and if I was to totally um, 
if I had to pay attention to all that, my heart rate, my breathing, man, I think I think I'd go crazy. <laughs> It'd be too difficult. So thank heaven for our conscious mind where we get to make a choice of what, what we're thinking about, where we get to live in the very, very present, which I just think is awesome too. And, and our goal is to master that majestic within us and bring those two together. And I think that that using these has helped a lot. So, so in other words, we generalize, we have distortions, we do deletions all the time. For an example, I can give you, and I've done this a lot, where I'm looking, I'm looking for something, I've, I've got my uh, keys is a good example because everybody uses, loses their keys from time to time, right? And um, where you, you can't find them, you can't find them, and someone says, well, they're right there. And you turn and look, and oh my goodness, they are right there. How come I didn't see them? Well, you had deleted them. And, and we do that, you know, uh, not because we're psycho, <laughs> but because it's part of, you know, uh, organizing and, and making our world fit. So uh, those are, and the generalizations, I like that one too, because if you, uh, the example that Dave gives is a great one. It's a camera. And, um, you know, there are tons of different cameras. As a matter of fact, we can use our phone for our cameras now too, right? So, um, but for me to know about camera, a generalization about a camera, if I had to look at each one that was completely different and try to formulate what it was and go through the whole process of understanding camera again, it would take, you know, it would take too long and it could confuse us and we'd have to learn it all over again. Well, the brain is an amazing thing. So we have generalizations. We go, oh, that's camera. Boom. Next subject. You know, we can move on. What does it do? Whatever. So, and then um, what was the other? Oh, distortions. You know, I've had the experience where uh, especially when I work, uh, I go to a job in the evening sometimes and uh, help out, and it's uh, a big warehouse. And um, you know, I might see something moving, and now where I'm at is right next to a mountain where there are lots of snakes on the on the hikes and stuff up there. You'll see lots of snakes, and where I live, it's really you know warm climate, rattlers, uh, gardener snakes, and uh, bull snakes. And I've had several times where I'm like, oh. I jumped and I'm sure I saw a snake, but the reality was it was a pipe or it was a, actually one time it was a snake, but it was dead. So <laughs> I lucked out. <laughs> but for um, other times, you know, there's, you know, if you know what I'm talking about, that's the, the distortion where you see something and it looks like something else and then you, you hone in again and you know, oh, okay, that's not what it was. So I, that, I hope that helps you to understand how your beliefs work and how in, in those different things we talked about how you could be making generalizations that aren't helping you or you can make distortions or you know your reality could be totally in the wrong frame so this whole I think the whole thing is, is awareness depot you know we've got to be aware and, and just pay better attention to what what our beliefs are so that we can make that shift so do you had a favorite you mentioned um, model no was it was it model the world no Oh, you tell me. There was one. Was it change frame size? Change frame size. Yeah. Was, mm -hmm. I talked about. I was actually even going to talk about that one, but 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 maybe 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 the other one will be my second one. I I think maybe we just have time for for uh, maybe I give one, you give one, and then I give another one, and then we'll just round it up. I think I think that that should be enough value, enough meat for uh for for our, our listeners. I mean, I believe it's, it's it's information that you can begin to apply right now in your business. So, so talking about um, changing frame size, that was exciting the way, uh, the, the way that uh, Dave had actually uh, uh, put it. We, we, we were talking about uh, one of our mentors. Uh, I mean, more time than their mentors. I mean, teaching us all these valuable, valuable insights that that we are sharing with you, right? Uh, so, so I mean, if, if you want to change your beliefs about 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 something, right? You, you need to, uh, you need to when, when you're able to change the frame size. Then you can be able to see it in a whole new light, right? That can give you a better perspective, right? A different perspective for for that particular thing you are looking at, right? Say and and look at it in this way. You you see you see a, a small fish, right? I mean, this is how this this is how I describe. You see a small fish. You look at a picture, right? And, and the picture, the picture is, is just about this uh, this size, right? And and it, and inside you see a small, you see a small fish, right? Being being chased by a big fish, right? So so there's a small fish here and there's a big fish here. So it's so it's like the big fish has its mouth open, right? And and the small fish is is trying to like 
run away, right? I mean, so you're like, man, this big fish, right, is is, is about to swallow this this small fish. I mean, that's that's the idea in your in, in in your mind, right? And you're like, wow, oh my goodness, I mean, what a cruel fish. I mean, you, thoughts may be just running across your mind, but but then your belief or or your mindset will change if I showed you what was next, right? And that's by changing that frame size to a bigger frame size, right? And then I help you to realize that that big fish is actually uh, running away from a sh uh, from a uh, from a shock, right? I mean, so 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 then you're like, oh, deeper I see it. So that shock, I mean, that shock is the bad guy. That 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 <laughs> shark, that that shock is is the one that wants to go after both the big fish and the small fish, right? And then and then and then you're like, oh, deeper now I see it. I mean, now now I have a different perspective. I I have a different mindset of, of deeper about this whole picture. I mean, that shock is is the bad guy that that that. That I don't really feel cool feel cool about. I mean, but then I'm like, oh wait, hold on a second. Let me open that frame size uh, a little bit more for you to see, right? And then um, when I open that big, when I open that uh, uh, the, the 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 screen for you, and then I help you to see that this is yet a bigger bigger shark, right? A bigger shark who that that's that uh, a, 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 a big. Uh, a whale actually, um, a whale actually going going for both the shark, right, and the big fish and the small fish. And you're like, oh my goodness, wow, what was I thinking? I mean, what a different perspective it was. It is, it is the, it is the big, it is the big whale going after, going after the the shark, going after the. The big fish going after the small fish. Oh, the big world. The big world is the problem. The big world is the problem. And I say, wait a second. So, so the big world is the problem. That's what you think. I mean, that's that's where your mindset is. And I'm like, okay, wait, hold on a second. Let me, let me, let me change the frame size. Let me change the frame another another notch again. Let me let me open it further for you, right? And then I open the frame size, and then you see a big big boat. A big, big boat, right? With a, with a, uh, with a, with a net, with a net, um, just, just about to drop into the sea, and then you realize, oh my goodness, they were all running because of the big boat, right? Both the whale, both the, both the whale and the shark and the big fish and the small fish were running because of the big boat that is about to trap them with their net, and then you realize, oh my. It was the big boat that they were all running from. You see how I've been able to just um, change the frame size to help you to have a different belief, a different mindset, right? A different um, perspective of, of the situation that that you have probably thought of, right? And that's kind of how uh, you need to you need to focus your your mindset, right? Or you need to you need to try to uh, change frame size on, on 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 issues, and by doing that, it helps you to. It helps you to have a different perspective of, of, of the particular matter at hand that can help you to begin to align your beliefs correctly with your values or with where you want to go. So, so uh, that that was one of the, the, the fantastic ones that that I really uh, uh, really enjoyed. Sorry. That's a really good one. You know, I had to. I started laughing because it it was. Right. <laughs> Have you ever heard the one about the? Uh, the little song that we sang in our school—I don't know if you did. It was a uh, there was an old woman who swallowed a spider. Oops, excuse me. I'm gonna turn off my phone. I'm. Sorry. Yeah, the old woman that swallowed a spider that wriggled and jiggled and tickled on the side her, so she swallowed the. Oh no, it was a fly. So she swallowed the spider to catch the fly. Ah, no, I haven't. And then she swallowed the bird to catch the spider, and then she swallowed the cat to catch the bird. Anyway, wow. anyway, it reminds me of that. Ah, crazy. Um, <laughs> you know, um, the one thing that, that comes to my mind next was the very first one called positive intention, and, and it really boils down to the beliefs that we have. You know, our, our subconscious wants to take care of us in a way. You know, positive intention. Like, you could have a, a well, I'll give you an example. A, from my own here I'll open up to you something that I discovered when I was doing this again for another time um, in our company we have a position that you can become a boss and a boss maker 
and uh, I was talking to my friend, telling her about that, and there's a gal that I mastermind with once a week, and she's just amazing. She's teaching about energy. She's an energy specialist, but she said, Lori, I just, I just sense that there's a problem with the word boss in your life, so I, of course, went back to this chart, you know, this these 14 that we've been going through, and and went through, and I, in my mind, I saw a metaphor of the big boss, you know, that was uh, like, um, you know, kind of a bad guy, and uh, not giving you the things you wanted, making you work harder for the things that you needed, and and that that uh, being a boss is actually a bad thing because you think you're better than everyone else, that kind of thing. Okay, I don't know if that makes sense, but that's where I was coming from, and that was totally not serving me in any way, shape, or form. Because then I had to shift it over and go, wait a minute, aren't there times in your life when you meet somebody who's just amazing at what they do and you go, man, he's the boss, you know, and uh, as a matter of fact, I read the scriptures and there's a story in there about a man named Abinadi who's willing to actually go to the fire for God, you know, he's, he's ready to just, I mean, take you know, life or death into his hands to tell people the truth and to cry repentance. And, and I'm saying, yeah, Benedi is a boss, you know. And uh, so anyway, I, I don't know if it helps you, but to, to switch it over and realize that um, the boss isn't a bad guy, but the boss is something really great. And um, this is what happened in my growing up years. I had a flashback of, of my own uh, family, and uh, there were things that I believed and that there were some things that I felt that I knew, that I had a knowledge of, that I'd come to the knowledge of on my own. And I had my sister tell me that there was no way I could know that. And that by me knowing that, I was acting bossy. So, you, you know, while working through all this, you start to realize, wow, these things really affect how I take a step up. You know, maybe I'm blocking myself from taking that next step because I'm feeling like, oh wow, maybe I can't know. So here's the thing. Are you taking on someone else's beliefs and doubts and fears, which is really easy to do. I was doing that. Um, thinking that they're your own. Come to find out that when you take on other people's doubts and fears, it distracts you from what you really know. And um, what you know is in your subconscious. You, you make a sale or you talk to somebody and it goes perfectly smooth, um, you learn something, you read something and it sticks with you, it's in there. You know it. You know it. Like, um, I don't know if, if you heard that depot on the call the other day, uh, Paul Hutchins, it was Mahara Tucker, and she asked Paul, um, you know, what's your blood pressure? You know, I could be asking depot, what's your blood pressure? Did you catch that last? I don't know if you caught that or not. No, I think I've missed. I think I've missed that that, yeah. that training. So, what is your blood pressure, Depot? Do you know? Uh, it's, it's it's I know it's eight. <laughs> I don't know. So, I, I <laughs> so like your your heart rate right now. If I was to ask you, what's your heart rate right now? Most of us would say, I don't know. But the reality is that our subconscious knows that it really mm. does because it's got all that in order. It's got all that going. So mm. I love that to connect that and really understand that the knower in you, that there, you do know a lot more than you think you do. And so going through your beliefs, your attitudes, and your values and getting those to line up and be in harmony with each other, you know, they also call it marrying your subconscious to your conscious mind is what's going to propel you in a forward motion. And so um, so we can have a positive intention. In other words, um, we might say, oh, people that uh, make money, people that make a lot of money aren't, they're not, they can't be good, like they can't be good parents if they make a lot of money. And so everything you do is going to, is you're going to sabotage yourself any, even when you start to make money because you want to be a good family member, and I, and I think you should be. I think that should be a great thing to put your family first. I think that's what you should be doing. I agree with that anyway. So it's coming to the point that realizing that, okay, my positive intention here is to be a good family uh, member. I want to be a good mom, or I want to be a good spouse, um, but I need to learn that I can have both, that, um, that I can't let my subconscious try to uh, make protect me you know, from being a 
terrible parent by not letting me go make money. I don't know if, you know if that makes sense, but um, and and that uh, that that's what understanding that it's a protective mechanism and letting that go and realizing, hey, I know a lot of people that are good parents and make a lot of money, and start to match those up too. So anyway, I spent a lot of time on positive intention, but I hope that I helped you. <laughs> Absolutely, I, I, it helps me. It helps me. I mean, I I I learned about it, but man, listen, listen to you. Um, I think it even helped me more. I mean, uh, you know, just just as you were sharing that that story and uh, about uh, either being a, a, a good mom or also having uh, being wealthy or having a lot of money. Um, you know, as you were just sharing that, I it just it just occurred to me. Um, that was actually, that 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 is actually one of the wealth wow. Uh, of, of the of the of the, uh, of the wealthy of the ultra wealthy of that and, and he said it in his book the secrets of the millionaire mind he said he said while poor people think of either or guess what rich people think of and and both right so while 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 the poor people are saying oh uh, I can either have this or I can either have that. Oh, but, but rich people are thinking, how can I have both? How can I be in both? In, how can I have both in my life? How can I be a great mom and also be extremely wealthy as well? Too? So, so I think that's that's a great that's a great um, that's a great principle that, that, that um, I think uh, serves me very very well. So, so thank you for that, Laurie. And and um, I, I know we spent we 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 spent way out of time, but but um, let me let me share the last last one with you, and I'll try to rush and try to. Um, even though I'll be fast with this, I'll, I'll, I also hope it's going to make perfect sense to you. And uh, we're talking about meta metaphor. Metaphor is also one of the steps or one of the uh, strategies that you can implement in order to be able to help you change your belief. And, and what is that? And that's being able to um, have a story or say or, or, or be able to share a story that's going to help you to change, um, change the way you operate, change your belief. Right, you know, because that's what we're talking about. We're talking about changing beliefs, and, and by by ha having a metaphor or by applying a metaphor to 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 that particular situation or to that particular thing that you're thinking of or belief, you can change your mindset. And and, and, and let's use this as an example, right? Um, imagine um, imagine um, someone in the circus, right? Someone in, in a circus, um, the guy that rides the, the elephant. Uh, well, um, maybe I'll use the elephant. I'll use the elephant later. But let's talk about a rider on a horse, right? A rider on a horse, right? Uh, you know, a very, very talented rider. I mean, very, very skilled. I mean, absolutely. I mean, he's, he's a he's a he's a top he's a, he's a top producer, a, a winner in, a, in 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 riding, right? But and then he gets on this horse, right? He gets on his horse, right? I mean, the, the truth of the matter is. He can control the horse up until the point where the horse will tell uh, the horse will get to a point where it's extremely thirsty, right? Where it's extremely thirsty, and at that point, the the horse is resistant, right? Uh, such that no matter where the rider tries to turn the head of the horse, the horse, the 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 horse will not really uh, make any moves. And if the horse should actually see water, right? Because of its thirst, right? Even though the rider is 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 pulling on it with full strength, right? I mean, heaving and sighing and trying to get the horse to move to the other side, right, so that they can go this other way. You will see that the horse, with its strength, it's gonna turn its head around, right? It's gonna turn its head around so that it can go in the direction of where the water is, right? So and then it will it will keep going until it gets to that water and then go drink uh, go drink in that pool. Uh, in, in that pool or river, that is exactly the way the conscious and the unconscious uh, work together uh, operate. That is the, you know, the the conscious represents the the rider, right? Where where you can try to do things, right? You can try to make things happen. I mean, you're just putting putting down the actions, right? But you know what? The the honest thing is, it's actually your your subconscious, right? Which is like the the horse in this case. That, that that actually determines really the results that you get, right? It's the unconscious. So if your unconscious is not in alignment with your with your if your, if your subconscious is not in alignment with your conscious, right? It's gonna end up right. It's gonna end up um, swerving your conscious. I mean, regardless of 
of how hard you do it, regardless of the steps. You know, I talk about uh, that the issue of uh, right, uh, giving the steps to, to person A and person B, and then both of them doing the steps, right? But the, con the subconscious of person A is not to that part, it's not to that level where it's in perfect alignment with, it's, it's in perfect alignment with, uh, the, the conscious is in perfect alignment with the subconscious. You will see the subconscious taking the taking the lead and actually ending up moving the conscious to where it's going to go, just like the horse, right? Just like the horse ending up moving the rider to to the river, right? So that is the, so so by me explaining that, right? It helps you to have uh, a, a better understanding, right? A better uh, thought process or, or or belief in terms of. How important? And maybe, maybe before I share that story with you, right? You may be thinking, oh, people. I mean, subconscious, conscious. That doesn't, that doesn't do anything for me, right? But then, by me sharing this story with you, right? By me creating a metaphor of how powerful, right, the horses, or, or even the circus, right? How powerful the elephant is, right? Uh, to, to, to move things around, right? To move the rider around, right? I mean, it's, 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 it's the power of the sub subconscious. That actually determines the results of, of the conscious, regardless of how much of the conscious does. So, so by me sharing the story, it helps you to solidify the power, right? It helps you to solidify the the importance of 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 your of your subconscious, right? And so that you can begin to work on developing your subconscious. And how, how do you do that, right? Because that may be one of the questions you may be asked to say, okay, I want to make my subconscious be in perfect alignment with my conscious so that as I'm taking the steps, right, my subconscious can be in perfect alignment and taking me to that goal. You know, because Laurie talked about we growing up with, with all these different kind of uh, mindset, this different kind of uh, uh, mentality, right? But, uh, that uh, of struggles or challenges, right? Because if 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 we have that, that's that 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 kind of shapes our our subconscious. So that even up until where we're at right now, if if we don't have that thought process or, or, or that thinking that it's possible for us that we can do it, right? Um, you know, it reminds me of the scripture verse that that where Jesus was telling the disciples was saying, "Is it greater, greater works than uh, greater works than, than than you see me do? Will you do right?" So greater than this. So 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 the Lord was trying to say that even with this work that I've done, you'll be able to do more, right? So so unless 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 you're able to align yourself in that in that thought process where you can see yourself doing more, achieving more, getting the results, right? You will keep on struggling regardless of the actions you take. So that's so by me sharing this metaphoric uh, by me sharing this metaphor with you, right? It helps you to see the value and the power of your subconscious. And to change your subconscious, going back to so how can you change your subconscious? One of the ways by which you can change your subconscious is to invest yourself, right, in information of other successful people, right? Figure out the kind of information that they're listening to. Listen to them, right? By listening to them, you'll be able to listen to their story, right, of how they went from struggles, right, to success. How they went from from the story from the storage stage, right, to 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 be to enjoying the the glory of it, right. So so it's very important to to align yourself in. Information in, in in stories, right? In 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 in, um, in, pa in power packed um, guide of, of 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 other successful people, and you may be asking yourself, okay, Dipo, can you show me where I can find that? And in our system, right? In in, in the system that 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 of the company that we're part of, right? We we have a whole collection. I mean, absolutely. Game trading collections of, of six six figure income earners, seven figure income earners, right? I mean, in in the industry, I mean, these are multi, uh, these are uh, six figure income earners and, and millionaire income earners, right? In the industry, and and that package is, is what we call our inner circle. It's our inner circle membership, where you listen, where you get the opportunity to get the kind of information. Um, where these people share their ideas with you of how they went from their struggle story right to their success story. So, so you can invest yourself in it, right? And how do you do that? It's by aligning with one of us, right? Maybe myself or Laurie or whoever it is that that gave you this this video and said, "Watch this, right?" We have a, a way to get you inside the circle, right? Inside the the inner circle uh, membership, right? And and just ask us for that information, and we'll get that to you, right? Either either maybe with a link below, or or, or just by 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 sending a, a message to Laurie or myself and say, hey Dico, hey Laurie, um, I heard about this inner circle membership where you have 
hundreds, where you have over a hundred plus uh, uh, audios of, of highly successful people in their business. I want to start listening to that. How do I get about that, right? And we'll get that information to you. So, so that's just my share about uh, about uh, uh, metaphor, which was one of the steps. You know, you see how how powerful this information is. I mean, we just only talked about four, right, Laurie? And we have fourteen. I mean, we have fourteen in all. I mean, we can stay here. I mean, a, a long mm -hmm. time trying to to share all this with you, but we really don't have time. Laurie, do, do, do you uh, what do you have to say? Uh, uh, maybe to our listeners in terms of uh, either get getting the uh, um, deciding mm -hmm. to get the top producer formula, or, or or making a stand, a change for their lives, or or how do you want to how do you want to round it up to to let our uh, our audience know know the power of the information we've shared with them and how they can uh, move forward in their lives and in their business. Yeah, great, great questions, great questions. Um, I would, I just am, I'm ready to just start right over and go through and find some more things I can fix, right? <laughs> But no, for you out there, I just wish for you to actually take the time, take some time out and sit down and really go through this and decide some of the things you need to change. And yes, if you want the full 14 steps and you want to figure out, you know, you want to get on with your life, you want to take it to a whole new level and you want to see some real changes in your life. Uh, maybe you want to retire your spouse. Maybe you want to travel the world. Maybe you want to... Um, pay for your kids education without even thinking about it you know you have ideas of what you really dream and want to do and if you want to take it to that other level then the top producer formula is just one step in that uh, becoming a top producer and being where you need to be and it doesn't matter what company that you're in um, Depot's right uh, and it and it doesn't matter uh, whether you're at a, a job offline or whether you're online as well Although the, the steps that to, to online marketing um, are similar, there's some uh, things that would that have blown me away and that would blow you away probably too to look at online marketing. And I know that's just the way things are. You know, I, if you don't have your business online, you probably won't be in business. You know, that's just a fact. But this is, you know. We really, really want you to get this, and there isn't enough time to, to, to really go in depth. But if you don't have this, if you don't have your beliefs, abilities, and uh, attitude, if you don't have that aligned, then the other things aren't worth uh, doing until you've got that really aligned up. So um, I appreciate you guys taking time to be here tonight with us. I have enjoyed, and I've been taking notes too. You know, it's just been some golden nuggets from Depot and and uh, I hope that you've written down some of those things and that you'll be able to apply those and really uh, make the next step. And, and yeah, click on the button below. Join Depot. Join me. Let's take you to the next level. Let's get you where you really want to be so you can start living a purpose-filled life and master the majestic within you. <laughs> Wow, you heard it from Lori. I mean, wow, could I I couldn't even have said it any better. Lori, <laughs> thank you very much. I mean, you've heard it from her. I mean, it's time to make a decision, it's time to make a stand for yourself. Well, you see, we can talk about five years from now, right? I mean, five years from now, by God's grace is gonna come, by God watching our lives. The question is where are you gonna be? Are you gonna have learned and mastered this kind of information that we that we'll share with you tonight, right? And and, and and if not, why not? Right. If not, why not? Right. This is the time, like Laurie said, for you to make a decision, right? And get started. Click the link below, right? And get access to our top producer formula, right? So that you, in your business, right? You don't have to be even in the company that we're in, right? I mean, in your business, in your Amway business, right? In your ACM business, in your in your in your new skin business, in your organo gold business, in in your Harbor Life business, in, in whatever business you may be in, right? I mean, you have this as a tool that can help you, right? I mean, this is a kind of information that your downline can't would even benefit from, right? I mean, I mean, we talk about like like always. Like, this is just like a tiny portion, right? I mean, though very important, though very critical, though maybe like the, the most important really of the mod of the of the module, right? It's just a tiny, tiny portion, right? A tiny model, right? Of the whole models that we have in the top producer from the right. Where we teach you how to get traffic, how to how to how to generate leads, right? I mean. It's, it's, it's a whole game-changing result, right? I mean, it's a whole game-changing result for you in your business. This is the time to take a stand. Take a stand for yourself, right? Take a stand for your family. I want to believe you're doing this for 
for yourself or, or doing it for your family, right? I mean, your family, the success of your family may actually depend on, on you getting this information so that you can begin to apply it in your business and begin to see the results that you've been getting, right? If you've been struggling, if you've been struggling thus far, right? And you say, hey, Tipo, can you just teach me what I need to do, right? And that is in the top register format. And that is why we're here. We share just a just a tiny bit, a tipsy, bitsy, bitsy portion of it, right? And we're saying that you can get the whole the whole gallon full, right, or the whole well full um, of, of training that can help you to take your business, your network marketing business, your offline business, your online business to a whole new level, right? And it's, it's, uh, it, it, it starts with you making a decision to click the link below, right, and, and, and get that product for yourself and uh, begin to use it in your business and in your life, right? This is Deco and Laurie. We are so excited that you took the time to be here to listen to this information. And like I said, I hope you listen to us live. And if, if not, why not, right? It's, a, it's an opportunity for you to join us live next time. Every Thursday at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time, 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, and 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Make a decision for yourself, right, to take your life, to take your business to the next level because you absolutely deserve it. We are here for you to lift you up and to and to help you in your business, right? To help take your business to the next level, right? So on behalf of myself and Laurie once again, we really appreciate you. Thank you for joining us, right? I mean I hope this information is very beneficial to you. And until next time when we share more ideas with you, have a good and have a wonderful day because you absolutely deserve it. Bye for now. Laurie? Bye bye.